Maya. This is Dr. Bien, and we're here in our Kingsville branch. And we have Sir Gabby. I'm going to refer to Sir Gabby by our long time uh, patient. Si Ma'am Cecil. Tama Ma'am Cecil? Tama po, Dok. Patagal ka po pasyente? Yes, po. And so far, kumusta ka naman? Ako po ng Diyos. Very healthy. Healthy ka na? Opo. Ano po ba yung tinutulungan natin sa inyo dati? Cancer po. Oh, oh cancer of the what? Ah, so bad to me. I am happy for you, ha? Yes, so, umiti ka dun sa treatment na ginagawa natin? Yes, Dok. Pinapos ko po yun. Tenditly, at saka po yung monthly na bago. Anong taon po yun? 2015 to 2018, Dok. Wow! 2015 to 2018? Yes, Dok. Si Ma'am Cecil, ay, ah, I remember you! Ito yung nagkaroon ng bukol sa matres dati. Opo. At sa... Cervix mo. Okay. And right now, si Ma'am Cecil ay nag-aalaga ng kanyang asawa, si Sir Gabby. Umiti daw siya. So, gusto niyang matulungan din ang kanyang asawa. Si Sir Gabby, maganda na maga. Ikwento niyo, itong tungkol sa lunar tayo ni Sir Gabby. Para kung may lumalaki po siya. Siguro daw, noong 1996 po kasi yan, Nagpatanggal po yan ng ano, nagpatanggal kami ng lunal niya. Okay. Tapos matagal-tagal na, may 2,000 something na po. Eh parang nakot-kot yata po niya. Aha. Ayan. At lumalaki ito. Opo. And from the way I look at it, parang mayroon siya problema, not only superficially, kundi pati sa loob. And kung matutunan natin, Medyo nangilaw na rin ang mata ni Sir Gabby. Now, when I look at Sir Gabby, nako na po, lumalaki ang siya niya na parang punong-puno ng tubig. And if we can show it, may papakita natin na maghihit ang kanyang yan, nangilaw na. So, hopefully, we may be able to express yung pamilya natin ng mga ginhawa si Sir Gabby. Uh, May mga ibinigay sa akin na lab results si Ma'am Cecil at Sir Gabby showing na mukhang nagkaroon ng metastasis to the, la, to the liver, rather, si Sir Gabby. So right now, what is important, higyan natin ang takas siya, higyan natin siya ng mga natural medicine so that we can recover. At yung mga nararamdaman niya, gaya ng mga manas at hirap sa pagdina, matulungan natin. Uh, Siyempre, Ang ano mga itagagaling ni Sir Gabby dahil ang ginawa na kay Mang Cecil if you can't be from above. So stay tuned and we will follow up. Dr. A, what are effective ways to quit smoking? We now have many ways to help you succeed in this journey. Here are some tips to manage nicotine withdrawal and get rid of the habit of smoking. Number 1. Ask yourself, why do I want to quit? Having a clear purpose and a reason to quit will help you stay motivated. Some people want to enjoy their life better or stay healthy. Some want to do it for their kids or someone else who they really love. What's your reason? Number 2. Replace smoking habit with something else. This is especially important at times when you feel the urge to light up a cigarette. Find out what triggers you. A trigger could be a task or an environment that prompts you to smoke, such as driving, talking to a friend, after meals, or so on. List down your triggers and try to replace them with something different. Remember, this strong urge will go away after a few minutes, so keep your mind, your hands, and your mouth busy during this time. Better choices are to get busy by drawing, play a game, chew a gum, biting on a straw, eating a healthy snack, or calling a friend. Number 3. Tell your family and friends that you are quitting so they can support you and understand your challenge. Include them in your journey to freedom. Number 4. Set a quit date. You are more likely to succeed if you set a date for quitting and make an effort to stick to that date. Number 5. Use medicines to help quit. You are three to four times more likely to succeed this way. Medicines help you control the symptoms of nicotine withdrawal, improve your mood, and reduce the craving. 
Another option is nicotine replacement therapy. Nicotine patches give a small amount of nicotine to the body for helping with withdrawal symptoms. And then when you have the urge to smoke, nicotine gums, sprays or lozenges can help you in those times.